Recaro Automotive just filed for bankruptcy. Does that mean there are no Recaro seats anymore? We cannot say that for sure. But let's find out what will happen if they go bankrupt. If you've been into cars for a while, you've probably come across this company. Whether you've owned one of their products or sat in one of them, they're a familiar name in the industry. The German firm, which supplies major brands including Bugatti, Koenigsegg, BMW, Ford, and Volkswagen, was approved for self-administration by a district court. Self-administration and bankruptcy refers to a legal process that offers businesses in financial distress an opportunity to restructure their operations under their administration without the interference of a court-appointed trustee. There are 215 workers at the factory in Kirkheim. Apparently, employees were not informed about the decision to file for bankruptcy. They have demanded transparency from the upper management. If this automotive company goes bankrupt, it could affect its 250 employees and might lead to massive layoffs. Recaro Automotive, it's a separate entity of Recaro Holdings that just deals with automotive seats. Recaro has other divisions apart from automotive. They make airline seats. Also, they make gaming chairs. We all knew they make baby seats, but airline seats are something new. In January 2020, Recaro Automotive announced the sale of its business to Raven Acquisitions LLC, a private investment firm based in Detroit, Michigan. In 2019, Recaro reported around $150 million in revenue. However, the reason it went bankrupt is not clear yet. Recaro's origins date back to 1906, when Wilhelm Reuter, a master saddler, began crafting car bodies and interiors. The company introduced its first sports seat in 1965 and the first road legal full shell seat in 1967. Other innovations included a seat with headrest speakers in 1977, the Recaro A8 sports seat with a plastic back in 1989, the first retrofit seat with a universal side airbag in 2004, and a seat with a new lightweight composite shell in 2005. The seats themselves seem to be fine. We haven't really noticed anybody saying anything bad lately. If the company goes bankrupt, the prices of their products, like seats, could go up significantly. These items might become rare and expensive. Recaro Automotive has been around for ages. It will be sad to see them go away. We'll continue to bring you updates on Recaro Automotive's situation as more information becomes available. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay informed and receive the latest news